This is one of the most beautiful custom rooms out there and it's not based on Android 14 yet but based on Android 13 it's one of the best right now. I tried a lot of custom rooms but if you're looking for a good custom room having great kind of customizations alongside very beautiful UI then this custom room is here. We are talking about Superior OS Extended Edition and let me tell you one thing I made a video on this update on I mean this custom room some time ago and the custom room is quite underrated but this is so good. For for some devices it's available unofficially for some devices available officially but update with the latest security patch but let's move on to some of the things here firstly the quick setting style if you are able to notice the quick setting style is looking android 11 style and it actually looks so amazing if you apply this icon bag which i'm using right now the icon bag name is lawn i guess and it's working fine it's looking so good and it is having the light quick settings panel if you use the light mode or dark quick settings panel if you use the dark mode Another great thing about this one is the power menu. As far as I know, I tried a lot of custom rooms and I never found this kind of power menu in any other custom room so far. This power menu looks so good. You have the advanced reboot options available too. You can reboot to system, recovery, bootloader or you can even restart your system UI through power menu. There are many options available and some of them are so good. Also, if you take a look at the dialer, it's not Google dialer. I mean, it depends upon which version you use. If you use vanilla variant or if you use the version which I'm using right now, it's core Google apps. So which is having Google apps pre-installed, but not every. So that is where the dialer is AOSP style. And this is a theme dialer. You have the call recording options and many more things. One of the great alternatives of Google dialer. Some of you were actually looking forward to this benchmark score, so these are here. I don't believe in these scores to be very honest, but it's here so you can go and get an idea. My device is Poco F5 and you can get an idea that how this custom home is behaving for me. In the real time performance, it is looking so smooth because it is actually having some great customizations, but still it is quite smooth. If you take a look at the settings UI as we are talking about one of the beautiful UI so that is why the settings UI is quite amazing. We have the card style UI available. You can customize the fonts also. We have the superior lab where we have all the customizations available. You can explore them very easily and all the options what you were looking forward to in a custom room already present here. If you take a look at the spoofing options, you will notice the storage encryption spoofing option. Not every custom room provides you this feature. I tried a lot of custom rooms, only few custom room brings you. You can simply spoof your storage encryption status to encrypt it if you are decrypted and this could be useful in some cases but not every time. In miscellaneous option, you will also notice the frame rate in screen record. So if you do screen recording, then this option might be very helpful for you. You can unlock around 120 FPS in screen record. I don't use that, but if you use, then this feature is here for you. You can choose what frame rate you actually need in a screen recording application, which is available by default. And they ignore window secure flags, random settings, had a image, all the options were present previously too. Another thing is the Google services. You have the option to disable the Google Play services. So that's really amazing. Some of the custom room brings you these features. We also have the parallel space option, which is actually quite better as compared to Android 14's cloned apps feature. Android 14 brings you cloned apps features, but that doesn't look that doesn't look that good. I mean, you can't create more than one clone for the particular app, but in this case, you can create around five. In quick settings panel, you will notice you have the option to choose between Android 11 style or the default one. The one I have applied already, which is Android 11 style you saw at the starting of the video. I use that option if it is available, but if you don't need that, if you need the device default, then you can choose one too. You have the option available. So that's also quite good. You also have the different kind of styles and UI everywhere. Like for example, if I am, if I'm in the battery section, you can see the battery graph, the animated icons, same like that with every other options like in notifications. This is how the UI is looking like even in the app section, battery, sound and vibration everywhere. We have new kind of UI available, even in the security settings, as you can see. So that's also one of the things. Other options, basically same and uh, without any doubt, if you want to know more about the launcher, it's kind of same. Launcher 3 base, having all the customizations or features you need. Other options, you already know all the Android 13 features, some good features, good UI alongside performance. So one of the good custom rooms right now. If you want to install this thing on a device available officially, check it out. Link is available in the description. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.